Preston Physics, Grade 11, Kinematics, Note 1, Scalars and Vectors. In this note, we're going to start out looking at scalar quantities. A scalar is a measurement which has a value but no direction associated with it. An example of this would be if we were looking at, let's say, distance. A distance of 3.2 meters has some value, but there's no direction associated. We could also look at speed, which is like 34 kilometers an hour, again, has no direction. Now, looking at vectors, we notice they're very similar, but these actually have a measurement and now they have a direction with them. An example of this would be looking at something like displacement. Displacement really is just a distance, but now we have some direction that we're looking at, so 42 kilometers east. Or velocity, which is just the same as speed, but we have 8.3 meters per second north. Now when we're talking about notation for this, it's really easy to put scalars. Scalars, we just look at what we're talking about, distance, and we put the letter associated with it. Now vectors is very simple as well, it's displacement, but instead of just having the D, we put an arrow. The arrow denotes that we have some direction associated. Let's look at the first example when we're talking about traveling around a 400 meter track using scalars. When we're looking at this, we have our starting point. We're talking about looking at halfway around the track. For that, when we talk about distance, all we have to do is take our distance that we've traveled, which here would be 400 divided by 2, or 1 half of 400, which is 200 meters. Next, we're going to look at speed. With speed, we have to associate some time, let's say 20 seconds. So the speed here is equal to distance over time. So now we have 200 over 20, which gives us 10 meters per second. Let's now look at the same example, but instead of talking with scalars, let's talk with vectors. So we have our track again. We have a starting point and an end point, which is halfway around the track. But when we're talking about displacement instead of distance, what we need to realize is we're going now in a straight line from our starting point to our finish point. So in this case, we're going to go straight across the circle. It doesn't matter how we get there, we're running around the track, but displacement is measured straight across. Here we need to find the diameter of the circle then. We'll use c equals pi d and then rearrange to find d using c over pi. Now we plug in our circumference and that's 400 meters over pi and we get 127.3 meters. That's our displacement. Velocity is the same as speed, but we use displacement instead of distance. So here we'll go 20 seconds again. We'll use 127.3 over 20, and we'll end up getting 6.37 meters per second. Now let's look how to draw a vector. This is a pretty simple process, but there's a couple things we have to do. First, being set a scale. Using the examples we have here, we have 5 centimeters east. Let's set our scale to be 1 centimeter equals 1 centimeter. Then all we have to do is measure out 5 centimeters in the east direction and then we have to label our vector. So we have label 5 centimeters east. Now the second example is very similar but instead now we're going to draw 2 meters per second north. Now our scale will be 1 meters per second is 1 centimeter and then we draw and label our vector. The final thing we're going to look at here is drawing a vector which is on an angle. Realistically no one travels in straight lines north and south and east and west their whole life. So let's look at 4.2 kilometers per hour east 35 degrees north. For this example what's happening here is we're traveling a direction that's out to the east and then up north. So we set up a little Cartesian plane, then we make our scale be one centimeter equal one meter per second. Now we draw our vector out. We would have measured this with a protractor. We end up going east and then up to the north, 35 degrees, and we label our vector 4.2 kilometers per hour east, 
35 degrees north. Finish the last example on your own. When doing this example, change the third vector from 5.1 meters east 15 degrees north to east 15 degrees south. The hit list questions for this note are 1 to 4 in your yellow duotang.